All right, it's been a couple months, two months, maybe more since my last video, which is not great, but it's better than the six month break I took <laughs> previously. So I am back today. You may notice I am in a different spot. I have moved my lights and camera into uh, what was our office. It still is our office, um, half office and half, half my space. I'm, I'm taking it over. Uh, hopefully having this stuff up permanently will help me get back on to filming more consistently. It doesn't seem like a huge deal to set up lights and camera every time, but I think this will just eliminate one of those barriers. So I'm excited to be in here. Bear with me as I try to figure out the lights and the background's not done. And I do have a big window though, right in front of me, which I really like. I think that'll help. I still have all the lights in here because depending on the weather or the time of day, I still might need it. Um, yeah, so new space, I'm gonna be working on that but I'm just gonna put on some makeup today. It is Saturday, uh, so that's a perfect excuse to just put on a ton of makeup for no reason. I have no plans, so may as well go all out. I've already got some eye primer on, and I think today I'm gonna go for maybe some plums and greens, kind of like a muted version of like the Joker colors. I always think of the Joker when I think of purple and green, like the bright, the bright purple and bright green, so my Go with a color scheme like that. I am gonna start with the shade Spaced Out. This is from the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauves palette. So, whoops, why did I close it? I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna focus this right in my crease, trying to keep it pretty low. Moving next door from that shade, this is Wishy Washy from the same palette, just a perfect mid-tone mauve shade. I'm going to use this to blend out the edges of the plum. I'm kind of dragging this shade out towards the end of my eyebrow to shape my outer corner area. And then a lot of the times I'll have to go back in with the darker shade and touch it up a little bit can blend away sometimes. And now I'm just using a clean, fluffy brush to make sure it's all smooth. And just for some brightness under my eyebrow, this is the lightest shade in the palette, which is fluffy. I'm gonna put a little bit of this under my eyebrow because it's just a really brightening shade. It's not a pure white, more like a lilac toned white. I've almost used every shade in this palette, uh, four out of five. Now I'm going to use Wine Stain on my outer corner for a little more depth. Outer corners are looking a little bit crazy, but I always clean that up at the end anyways. So I'm going to move on to some shimmers and metallics now. Uh, these next shades are from Luxy Beauty. I'm going to start with this. This is Gravity. And just I'm going to use a little bit of NYX glitter primer just on the center not that the shades not pigmented but I I use glitter glue all the time with metallics they just look extra amazing with it so why not just tapping this all over the glitter glue and here is another looksy shadow a nice light shimmery green this is golden delicious I want to add a little interest to the outer corner. This is the Flower Beauty Warrior Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Camo, which is a dark shimmery green. So I'm gonna tap that on my outer corner and bring it into the middle a little bit and then use a clean brush to try and blend that out a little. I may as well do my eyebrows since I'm already zoomed in although it's gonna be a pretty simple process. This is my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Espresso. So I'm gonna brush some of that up. I think I'm kind of running out of this and then brush it back. So it's gonna look a little crazy for a bit, but I find kind of putting it in all directions really helps the hold. So kind of back and forth, up and down. And then once it's all in there, just go back and Brush them the way I want them to lay down, the direction in which I want them to go. 
I've just added a little concealer at the top because when I swish the brush through back and forth like that, it tends to make a bit of a mess. So just covering up some of that. I'm going to use a little bit of this used to be clear brown gel. This is the Essence uh, Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. And I'm going to just put this through the front. I tend to like when the front of my eyebrows are not too blocky looking. I feel like the more I try to do to the front of my brows, the worse they look. So I kind of just want to spread them out to find the hairs more. I think I'll do one more thing for my brows, but I need to wait until they're all dry so it won't mess them up. Uh, this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. It's basically like a glowy lotion almost, or I feel like it's a little moisturizing. I'm just gonna kind of put this all over. It feels a little moisturizing. It adds some glow, obviously. I guess I'm almost kind of using it as a primer. I feel like primers can either be actual primers, like products that are marketed as primers, or just literally anything else you put on your face, like moisturizer or sunscreen, anything you want to kind of help your makeup stick or moisturize your skin, whatever. And use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in light sand. Let's see dot here, dot there, and then just draw along the outer corner. And that will help shape the outer corner of my eyeshadow. It's such a satisfying part to complete because the eyeshadow looks like an absolute disaster until I clean up those outer corners. I've probably mentioned in at least a few other videos, I don't really wear foundation anymore, like on a day-to-day -day basis for sure. I mean, I don't really wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis at all, but I do have fun playing with it, especially if I'm doing a dramatic look. So that's what I'm going to do today. I just randomly found this uh, Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation. This was on clearance at Target. I think Milani's come out with a different foundation so I don't know if this one's going away but I thought for five bucks give it a shot I had heard some good things about it before some not so good things too you never know so let's spread that out a little bit and blend this out <laughs> with this very fancy brush it's like a little coral reef my sister got me this for Christmas from Tarte I think you can probably hear some white noise in this video from out there but finally have a window right in front of my face and it's open because it's hot in here. <laughs> okay, I've got that blended in and granted I've only had it on for two seconds, but I feel like so far it looks really nice. It definitely looks like there is makeup on my skin and that is one thing I've realized ever since uh, not really using foundation anymore. Like foundation looks like makeup. That's not a weird thing. That's, it's, it's just you're gonna be able to see it. I think all my brow gels and everything are more dry now, so I'm actually gonna go in with a pencil. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Taupe, and I found that I kinda like going in with a pencil afterwards, just to fix any little spots where I want the shape to be different or any little sparse areas, or to draw out the tail a little bit. I forgot I didn't set under my eyes, so I'm gonna do that real quick with the NYX uh, finishing powder in banana. And I'm just gonna take the tiniest, tiniest bit of this powder and just put it in a couple spots I might need it around my nose, and kind of apples my cheeks a little bit. That's about it. Now that I'm filming in a different spot, I have to bring the makeup I'm going to use in, in a little bucket thing. I think I've only had to get up three times to get things that I had forgotten. One of which was blush. Uh, this is the Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Palette Volume 2. And I am going to use this mauve shade right here called B. 
kind of enjoyed for quite a while using blush almost in the same place where I put bronzer. I just feel like it works for my face shape. That is my dog getting into nonsense he should not be getting into back there. I'm gonna use a tiny bit more of this powder just to soften that a little bit. I'm gonna move on to some highlighter. I'm gonna try this out today. This is Laser Glazer from Kaleidos. This is their Space Age highlighters. I did buy the whole set because, you know, I have too many highlighters already, so I need more. And they're just, they're so cool. The packaging is so cool. Now this is an interesting looking shade, right? So obviously this has got some green to it, but the green is a shift and the base is kind of this bronzy, pink. I think it'll be really interesting. Because it's got a bit of color to the base, I am going to maybe not quite as high. Oh, the intensity. Oh my gosh. It's so green. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that to be quite as bold as it is, but that's super fun. It's sparkly and green. I already had my blush up so high. I don't think the colorful base is really looking too dark or anything. Using a little more laser glazer, gonna put that under just the arch of my eyebrow. But for a little more brightness, I'm going to use uh, Look See. This is Glass Slipper. It looks just white, but it's got some green in it. This is one of their highlighters. So just mixing in a little bit of that to the other highlighter, make it a little brighter. Also put some glass slipper in my inner corner. And just for a bit of definition, under my eyes, I think I will use a little bit of uh, this shade again, spaced out mainly on the outer third of my lower lash line. I'm gonna put on some mascara off camera because it's not fun to watch, it's not fun to film. This is the CoverGirl Super Sizer uh, Big Curl. This is a waterproof version. And now I'm gonna finish off this look with a lip color. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Fantasia. I actually just got this the other day and it's kind of a brown nude. It's got some little gold shimmers in it and I feel like there's certain looks I do with certain colors where I feel like I don't know what lip to pair this with. Warm looks wrong, cool looks wrong. I feel like this will hopefully go with a lot of things. Glasses on and here's the finished look. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. I'm really happy to be back. I'm sure that is something I say every time I take a bit of a ridiculously long break from YouTube, but I'm excited to be working with a new space and just kind of change it up a little bit. And hopefully being able to leave all this equipment set up will, will make it a little easier to just kind of pop in here and turn on the camera whenever I want to film. So uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Happy to be back and hope to see you very soon. Bye.